everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels with your card reading for the week starting the 31st of January. This is the reading for Pisces and I'm using my teacup tarot deck. So let's get right on with your reading for a really positive week. Here we are, your six cards. And your overall energy here is the card, the two of coins. And this is the card of balance. This is the card that reminds you to get your work-life balance in order. Now look at the angel here. She's riding a unicycle. And at the same time, she's trying to juggle two coins as well. So this reminds you to stay balanced. It also is the card saying that you might have more than one option to choose from. So to make clear and wise choices. It also reminds you to have some more fun if you need to. So if there's a lot going on for you this week, stay balanced, stay focused, get your work-life balance into good order and make those wise and sensible choices. Our help or our hurdle, we have the Eight of Teacups card. Now, this is the card that reminds you that you need to take new steps forward towards success. Now, if we look at the angel here, she's just poised at the edge of the lake and she's just hesitating. And this card encourages you to take the next step. Once she starts to walk along those little stepping stones, the next one will be very easy to find right in front of her. But she needs to take the first step. So this is some mindfulness for you. Rather than hesitating or avoiding or putting things off, be ready to step out of your comfort zone and take those first steps towards success. Our guidance here is the card, the Ten of Wands. And this card is another card reminding you to get your work-life balance in good order. The angel on the card here, she stopped to have a rest. She's reading a book called Rest and Relax. She's just pausing and re-energizing. So that's key mindfulness for you this week. It also reminds you that if you've had a really busy time lately with an awful lot going on all at once, that that's over with now. You've done the difficult bit, you've, done, you've got through all that, and now it's time to rest, recharge your batteries and be ready to move forward. How can we help ourselves? We've got the five of pencils. Now, this card reminds you to learn from experience. It reminds you to take all that knowledge and all that wisdom and then be ready to move forward with new plans, new ideas in new ways. Here we have a card asking you to move forward and here we have it here again. She's learned from experience. She's been there She's done that and she's got the T-shirt and she's taking all that experience and she's moving. Look, her back's to us. She's halfway across the river here. She's on her way following these new plans. And beautifully following on from that, we have card number 10, bringing it all together. Card number 10, the Wheel of Fortune, movement forward again. Here we have it for the third time. The angel here is putting into the wheelbarrow all her lovely gifts of inspiration, happiness, positivity, love. All her positive gifts, all her, her experiences and wisdom, and she's ready to move off. In an instant, she can be moving and well on her way. And the outcome card, we have the page of teacups. Now, the pages are the messengers in the deck. And the page of teacups brings messages of love and very positive emotions. Here she is, look, 
she's got a message in the teacup there. This card also asks you to trust your intuition. Know that it's on track. Do what feels right. When you're making these moves forward, think it through. But yes, do what feels right for you. Do, for you. do what you know is the right thing to do for you. So just to summarise, lots going on this week. Take time to remain balanced. Keep your work-life balance in check. You may have more than one option in front of you. Then step out of the comfort zone. Be ready to take those first steps towards success and know that this busy time is over. Put rest and relaxation into the timetable this week. And then learn from experience, take all your wisdom and your knowledge with you and start moving forward with those new plans and new ideas. This lovely opportunity and movement forward is here for you. Sometimes after things have been a little bit stalled, look out for that movement forward, be ready to move and pay attention for information coming in with positive emotional experiences for you, with happiness, with joy, with inspiration. Trust your inspiration and be ready to make that move. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, make the bell ring, then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.